everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the OCZ or OCZ Vertex 4 2.5 inch solid state drive. And in case you're not familiar with the chronology of the Vertex series, initially it was introduced in 2009 and used an Indilinx barefoot controller and it was a SATA 3G drive. Similarly, a SATA 3G drive was released in 2010 as a follow up, but it was based on a Sandforce 1200 controller. This was the Vertex 2 and in the following year 2011 they released the Vertex 3 which was based on the Sandforce 2200 controller but was a SATA 6G drive and now OCZ has bought Indylinx and they as you can see there in the logo on the upper right hand this is an Indylinx infused SSD and it uses the Indylinx Everest 2 platform. And of course the Vertex is the high performance SSD from OCZ for desktop users and uses MLC flash memory. Start opening up the package so we can see what we can find inside. Here at the back you can see some more promotional information in multiple languages. You take it out of the box. First accessory we see here is a 3.5 inch to 2.5 inch SSD adapter has the OCZ logo. And inside the documentation, you have the OCZ sticker and the installation guide that also includes the warranty information. It is also multilingual. And of course, the Vertex 4 SSD itself in an anti static packaging. Let me pull it out. You can see that the, it's surrounded by foam to protect it from shock during transport. And also, there is uh, it's about two, four, six, eight screws provided in here so you can install it inside your case. As seen here and the caution sticker, make sure to open it at a static free workstation so that you don't damage your drive, although it is in an enclosure, so it should be well protected. As you can see here the layout, looking at the bottom, and here is the top of the Vertex 4. It is a standard 2.5 inch form factor. The top is actually a black, and while the bottom is a brushed aluminum uh, metal. That's, it looks quite attractive uh, with the kind of charcoal gray and silver design here at the bottom. You'll have the serial number and the pin number and some some warning information there and the certifications. Also the connector here in the rear. Standard SATA 6 and SATA power. You just have the Vertex 4 logo in front. Let's take a look at what really makes this Vertex 4 SSD tick. Let's dive inside and see the new technology inside this SSD. Alright, so this is what the Vertex 4 SSD looks like when taken apart. Although a word of caution, do not try this at home as it voids your warranty when you take your SSD apart. And of course we mentioned that the bottom part is aluminum and it actually doubles as a heatsink. As you can see there is a thermal pad and it is directly on top of the Indylinx Everest 2 controller right there in the middle. And there's actually word in the street that it is in fact a Marvell hardware with custom Indylinx firmware. And it's not just the same Marvell hardware but it is a beefed up version with dual core arm. Uh, processor and around it you can see eight OCZ marked memory chips and there's eight more in the back for 1216 and of course 16 with uh, each of them have 16 gigabytes so 16 times 16 is 256 gigabytes of storage there's also a Hynix memory chip down there a small one and another one in the back these are, these are actually 512 um, megabyte modules but uh, the 256 gigabyte and the 128 gigabyte model. This one is a 256 gigabyte. Can only access half of it, which is 512, so you can't access the other one as well. 
but the 512 gigabyte model can access both for a total of one gigabyte memory. And of course, the connector down at the bottom is a SATA 3 6G connector. It will still be compatible with a SATA 2 3G motherboard, but of course, uh, the performance will not be as fast as it would be with a native SATA 6G controller. As for the uh, Everest 2 platform, it has plenty of advanced features. You have basically uh, supposedly up to 535 megabyte transfer rate since it has uh, synchronous flash. And uh, I believe with the 1.5 firmware, it actually uh, runs 550 um, megabytes per second transfer rate now. So it has been up upgraded with the latest firmware. So if you have a firmware that is not the 1.5 version, I suggest updating it. Also, it has a um, multi-level error correction code with 128-bit correction capability per one kilobyte of data. It has hyper-queuing and native command queuing, and uh, has AES-256 encryption, and of course, trim, garbage collection, all the important features for an SSD that is, uh, of course, sought after today. And that pretty much covers the Vertex 4 SSD. The best thing to do now is, of course, put it back together and run our benchmarks and you can see these benchmarks at www.hitechlegion.com click on the storage link and you'll see a list of our previous SSD reviews in there also you can read um, the rest of the reviews there even if it's not SSD, re SSD related and uh, also we update our YouTube page uh, almost every day so subscribe to our channel you can subscribe to youtube.com slash hitechlegion can leave your questions and comments and again thanks for watching and see you next time